Le but c'est de, de tuer l'équipe ennemie et de détruire le, la base. Je suis un joueur de League of Legends. C'est un peu compliqué cette saison en fait. On just lose the game automatically. Si, 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 Okay, they must right now, so? What is this? Just uh, Oregon merchandise, pretty much. Yeah, again, well. To have for, for, the, for the players and for everyone. You know you are. I started playing League of Legends when I was 17, 18, I think. I think when I was 17, I played it, like some games, but when I was 18 is when I started playing it more, like. The only game I played, and since then, yeah, I have been playing a lot of League of Legends. <laughs> since first or second year, I always had kind of this dream of being able to to run my own team. <laughs> you can see this coming in that okay, he's definitely on towards the Nexus. Kevin is going to be oh able to go towards God. him. He's trying to do it, but meanwhile, they're doing the base. Yellow Star's trying to defend them in the base. Peke's trying to take the Nexus down. Is anyone going to be able to deal with this one? Catches him with another X. He's very low. The back door is the, the action that made me famous pretty much. At that time I didn't think that much about the play, but more that we won the game and I was super happy. But yeah, after that everyone started to use talk about the play, I started to tweet me, I started to follow me. Everyone suddenly became like interested in, in me and, and knowing me more. And that's what gave me the jump to for people to want to know me and help me yeah, help me reach out to people. <laughs> And I remember during the whole year, I was getting so many followers all the time. Like, so I remember thinking the first time I went to 100k, how, how crazy it was and how happy I was. And, and now it's like even more crazy that the amount of numbers I have, that the amount of people that, uh, yeah, that follow the account is just crazy. <laughs> Every time I travel to a new country, I will always get recognized at least once or twice on the streets or when I arrive or something. And it was, I remember that's when I, I, I was like, okay, yeah, so a, lo a lot of people know me somehow. I guess I have to stay around, you know? Yeah, that's true. Well, no. well. You guys are probably sick and tired of talking about this stuff, especially if you're just like... To them? Yeah. Mm, I, But like buying your groceries, for example. No, but that, that guy is funny. Yeah. I like him. So I wasn't, mm -hmm. I'm too, not too bothered by him. Yeah. But it's just more about... No, I, I I feel more tired by the fact that I have to res like or like feel the need to respond to social media. Not not even like you know people just talking to me. You know, if people yeah. tell me like unless they tell me you play fucking shit, and yeah. I tell me you're fucking shit. Mm. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> and if that unless that happens, yeah. um, I don't think I don't think I mind it too much. You know, yeah. we're kind of required to retweet and favorite and like just kind of tweet out a couple of things every week and just to promote our sponsors. It's similar to how footballers are being paid to be fair. Um, if you just take a Cristiano Ronaldo, like obviously he's, a, he's one of the greatest players on earth, but vice versa he also brings like a whole lot of baggage with him, which is basically like potential marketing, uh, potential sponsorships, and that's what we're basically coming in with too, you know? So. It, the game of is not just about gaming, actually, like, um, just be being good, but it's also being someone that, or that is responsible for themselves and is able to, um, 
enable their sponsors as well as the organization to just go forward instead of backwards. A lot of people think that they know him based on, um, I don't know, let's just say his social media personality, but um, he's very different to what people think he is. So there's Soas and then there's Paul, right? And so I'm more interested in getting to know Paul. People ask me all these things about, um, you know, oh, do you know like which champions he likes to play on this patch, all that stuff. I'm like, I have no idea. We don't talk about this, you know? <laughs> I actually do enjoy watching him practice sometimes um, because obviously I was like a fan before I met him and um, you know I am quite interested in some of these things. He's in the bush, maybe he's in this bush too, there can be two there, we don't know. But it can get quite boring and tedious obviously, um, you know, if you watch this all the time. <laughs> you have to dedicate so much of your time and effort into something like this and um, Obviously you have to have that kind of passion for the game and um, even if you do have that kind of passion I feel like because you're forced into this kind of routine, um, you know, a lot of people kind of um, They get a bit burnt out from this as well, so I will put you on the wall Oh my god, kill me just before, oh my god I was fairly successful when I was playing because like the team I was playing in was one of the most dominant teams in Europe at that time. Obviously like the reason why I quit playing League of Legends professionally is I wanted to do other things with my life because playing League like full time is very consuming. It takes like all your life <laughs> pretty much and you don't really have that much free time to socially interact or per pursue you like other goals in life. So that's the reason why I quit and I'm kind of sticking to it. Luckily for me, I at least finished my high school before I uh, started going full time into gaming. At first I was doing school and gaming at the same time, but when I was 18 I finished uh, senior high school and then I focused fully on gaming. So I got that finished, so most likely next year I will go, will go back to university to study a career and actually have like more options to work in for the next years. I think technically you could be pro forever but at some point in your life like for example when League of Legends got really competitive it like it is so time consuming and in life normally at some point you are like you you don't enjoy the game as much as you used to and you just get bored and you don't want to do it anymore but I think definitely in the future when esports is just gonna keep growing we're gonna see more of these like career pros that just keep playing keep playing and like actually make almost a lifetime of career out of gaming, even though right now it's looking like you like play your good years and then you quit. But I think in the future there are going to be these more long-term people emerging. Celebrating the first and only win of the split. See you at Worlds, guys. No. 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 Là, je vais faire la demi-finale, premièrement. Donc on joue contre l'équipe favorite. Du coup, sur le papier, on est moins bon, mais on va quand même essayer de négocier ça. Du coup, on va, on va tout donner, on va voir ce que ça donne. Enfin, il y, y a des fois où vraiment je, je tilt, enfin, j'arrive plus à jouer comme, comme je jouerais normalement. Du coup, je perds en sang-froid et je fais, je fais de la merde, je fais des actions de merde, mais... Vu euh, qu'on qu a gagné hier, il n'y avait pas eu ça. Mais peut-être aujourd'hui, <rire> on y aura droit, je sais pas. C'est pendu, 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 c'